Hello guys, welcome to another video of TCS Baba. So this video I have made specially for those aspirants who wants to know actually what happens when they join TCS. How is the training procedure? How are the TCS officers exposed to the different uh, arenas, different sectors of the government? This is a uh, this I think I also had that sort of question while I was joining TCS. But there was no video or I didn't have that uh, sort of connection with any other TCS, uh, TCS officers to let me know what actually happens after you join TCS. So based on some queries that I have received in Telegram, so this is uh, Pranab, I think he wrote that he wants to know what's the training of TCS officers. Similarly, Abhishek Deparma also said he also wants to know about it. So, so guys, this is the video. So, I have divided the uh, divided this video into four major parts. First is what happens after selection. Then there is a part of uh, Shepard. Then there is RSTI, and then there is some sort of attachment with district administration. So the first thing is what happens after selection. The first thing is uh, whoever gets selected, very very congratulation to all of you who are getting selected uh, in our case uh, first we had to we were given some sort of uh, medical examination form we had to go to uh, GB hospital and get our medical examination done this is a fairly sort of easy process but that is uh, mandatory for all officers to get the medical examination this is for TCS TPS both uh, after that this is submitted to uh, the office and then on our joining letter, a date is fixed where we have to start our training in Shepard. So Shepard is basically the State Institute of Public Administration and Rural Development. That is a nodal uh, sort of uh, training institute of Tripura. This is a composite training institute of public administration and rural development in Tripura. It was established in 1993 and it's located in Arundhati, uh, Arundhati Nagar. Uh, you take a right turn from drop gate okay there uh, it's located it's an autonomous training institute it's uh, registered under the registration of societies act 1860 and it has uh, both financial and functional autonomy many guys uh, would be wondering whether they would uh, get salary during their training period the first thing is your salary starts from the very day you enter shepherd Huh, it may take let's say one month or two months to get it regularized getting your uh, bank account numbers uh, uh, getting it sanctioned in the finance department so many things happen but yes you will be paid during uh, your training period the whole training period and the payment is full payment okay? the full salary will be getting the duration of the training in our time it was uh, six months Basically, six months of uh, training, in-house training, and then three months of attachment in any district or SDM office. So, so overall, it's a nine-month training that we have. Now, the accommodation in Shepard, there are uh, hostels available. The rooms are very good, but depending on the uh, budgetary issues you may or may not be charged that actually depends on your batch accommodation is good fooding is not included fooding is not included you get uh, tea coffee snacks but the fooding part is not included until unless some sort of program specific happens and you get some fooding there so that is the first part where in shepard uh, you get trained by some very good teachers uh, overall, you get uh, all uh, senior officers who come in and teach you about different rules, regulations of the government. And since basically uh, you are joining, we will be joining as a deputy collector. So as a deputy, deputy collector, the main major sort of thing is you are a revenue officer. Revenue officer means you will be dealing with land and land land related matters 
so land and land related matters will be taught in a very good way in shepard and also in rsti i will talk about it next so after getting uh, sort of introduction from so many different officials so many senior officials you will be also taken for some uh, field visit also in uh, uh, maybe some uh, blocks some nearby blocks some nearby uh, sdm office there you will be seeing some functioning of the government offices also so there you get a hand to uh, hands on experience of how the administration actually runs uh, the office officers who come they also share their experiences with you so that way you get a uh, sort of brief understanding of the whole procedure of the government now uh, the accommodation that was i was talking about if you are from agartala you can uh, you can sort of come and uh, go from shepard you don't have to stay there but if you want you can ask for accommodation and they will provide so uh, let's check out some photos of shepard this is basically the shepard building it's uh, near camp camper bazar opposite to shepard there is prdi panchayati raj training institute and rsti regional survey training institute and uh, the hostel is also there so these are the classrooms in shepard this is where we spend most of our time hearing lectures and everything next this is our tcs batch of 2016 we were taking taken to integrated uh, check post in athaura border now after completing around uh, i think 3 4 3 to 4 months 4 months of uh, training we were shifted to rsti regional survey training institute rsti as i was talking about deputy collectors has a very big role in land and la uh, land related matters so regional survey training institute teaches you in hand in the field how to do all those map surveys how to read the uh, land related documents and everything so rsti was basically founded in 1979 as a state survey training institute it was upgraded to regional survey training institute in 1993 so basically uh, this rsti caters to the whole of northeast this is under the control of director of land record settlement Depart department dlrs 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 we sometimes confuse it with dslr <laughs> so anyways it caters to the need of survey training for the entire region during rsti one good thing is you are given lunch lunch is free during rsti but again that depends on uh, depends batch to batch for example 2016 batch it was whole 6 months plus 3 months uh, training but 2020 batch due to covid they had uh, lesser i think one or two months of training only that too it was totally in house uh, and uh, uh, the shepard was you can say it was sealed for them they had only training so next uh, after finishing rsti training of one month you are uh, then taken for a district attachment in a district attachment the officers are divided into groups of 6 uh, to 10 officers and they are uh, they are uh, shifted to not shifted to they are taken to different uh, districts where they are attached for one week to 10 days during that time uh, the whole team they roam around in different offices uh, dm's office sdm's office blocks and they interact with all the officers trying to learn what happens on the field that is also a uh, sort of a good portion of the uh, the whole training procedure after finishing that then starts the you can say the uh, the in house the on book training is finished in both shepard and rsti and after that you get the sdm office attachment the 3 months attachment 
so at that time you are posted as deputy collector probationer sorry i didn't write probationer so this will be probationer here and uh, the controlling officer for you will be sdm so in 3 months uh, the sdm will uh, make sure that you are attached to different uh, different sections of the office be it uh, sc st prtc section travel welfare um you can say registry treasury etc everywhere you will be attached so after finishing this 3 months attachment in sdm office that's where you can say your whole training ends it's a whole conundrum of 9 months it's very uh, you can say you meet with so many big officers you get to see the uh, sort of uh, real uh, rural sort of tripura how the how the people are actually that's even if some people are deprived where government is lacking where government can do more where you as an officer actually can impact the whole society so all these things you learn in the 9 months training period and after that you get your posting you are now posted as deputy collector the probationer is gone so best of luck for that and hope to see you guys once you clear the exam so this is a short snippet of what happens during tcs tps uh, tra training no sorry not tps tps training actually happens uh, most of the time outside of uh, tripura and sometimes tps uh, officers are taken for international trips also we didn't get that tcs is lacking in that tcs is not taken outside of state as of now tps training is maybe i think better some uh, tcs of uh, tps officers can apprise you of that but anyways tcs uh, training is also good so this is the short crisp video regarding tcs training so if you want many more such videos please comment below regarding what you want what improvement that you want me to make in this uh, channel and uh, please go on to my telegram channel it's uh, tcs baba there also you can uh, you can uh, discuss regarding what are your issues regarding this exam what uh, sort of uh, sections of the exam you want me to make videos so all these things happen in the telegram channel also or uh, apart from that you can always write comment here and if you like this video please give a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel so that other people can also get benefited from this channel thank you